This is the Sunshine Cathedral perspective. The GOP calls for more homophobia to do better job sharing LGBTQ+. During a segment railing on trans inclusion, a pundit at the far-right news network Newsmax declared the world needs more homophobia to stop LGBTQ plus people from gaining rights. Shamika Michelle, who was identified as a personal empowerment advocate, said that the world needs to take it up a notch and have to put its feet down and stand tall and say what it believes without the fear of being canceled. The conversation on host Eric Bowling's show initially focused on Transgender Assistant Secretary for Health Admiral Rachel Levine and her praise for an Alaskan gender-affirming care clinic using the term egg producer in place of the word mother. The conversation between Bowling, Michelle, and Chris Bedford, executive editor for the Common Sense Society, immediately devolved into mocking Levine and the clinic's inclusion. Bowling then brought up a common conservative talking point about how Russia and China are busy building their military strength and the U.S. is too busy being inclusive to trans people to focus on military readiness. Bedford called the situation embarrassing for the country. The group lamented over the fact that they cannot oppose trans people's existence without being called bigoted. That's when Michelle declared it was time for people to turn their homophobia up a notch, no matter the consequences. Bigotry? Yeah. I, I think that's exactly what happened there. They they started to attack um, people for who they are. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the clear definitions mm -hmm. for bigotry. I think if you look it up, it'll say something similar to that. Uh, the whole conversation that those folk had um, is troubling on just a number of levels that they felt it necessary to go out of their way to go after a group of people who are already marginalized, a group of people who are already hurting, a group of people who need as much support and love as possible. And they're not getting it from a lot of um, places. And it's not just the far right that they're not getting right. a lot of love from. It's a lot of places in America that people will say, well, I don't understand who you are, what you're all about, and I'm not comfortable with yeah. In, in embracing you. That's not our job. Mm. Our job is not to question people about who they are. Mm -hmm. Our job, I believe, as decent human beings is to do, I, I keep going back to that basic message um, from Jesus, and that's love your neighbor as yourself. And if your neighbor is hurting, then you need to embrace that neighbor and make sure that they know that there is someone out there who will support them. The neoconservatives are going to do what they're going to do. It is our right and privilege to counter that every chance we get to make sure that there is a voice out there that people can go to. Yeah. This is an African-American woman. Yeah calling for harm to be done to another group of people. I wonder what her response would be if that kind of person had been a, a, a white woman saying, we need to step up our violence against African-American women. And when I think of it in those terms, mm -hmm. it's like, sister, get your act together. Yeah. You know, uh, to call out harm against anybody. Right. Is just, just irreprehensible to me. It's like, why, th there's enough stuff going on in the world that we need to be addressing housing insecurity, food insecurity, job trainings, all this other stuff around the isms that can be going on. But this is a thing that you want to call out. Let's ramp up against the LGBT community with more homophobia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The uh, and the false dichotomy is like, oh, we're too busy trying to treat people like like humans uh, to keep a strong military. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Who is who is following that weirdness? We can do a lot of things. We can feed hungry folks. We can educate people. We, we, we can defend ourselves against against imagined foes. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we can do a lot of things and we can be nice to people who are who fall into some sort of minority. 
uh, so that that was just that was a red herring anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we see, look at you being nice to people, and that's we're going to get taken over by by who? Canada? Who's going to? Who wants us? Who's going to do it? <laughs> who's going to just take us over for heaven's sake? So uh, so yeah, there's that. This is just more bullying, mm -hmm. and then trying to uh, make bullying seem somehow somehow noble. It's a call for hatred. It is exactly bigotry, and. Um, it's disturbing to know that people feel that way. It's also disturbing to know that they're calling, that they're trying to get people uh, sort of revved up to be me. Trans people are people. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to get it. Uh -huh. Let people be happy. Let, let some seven foot woman with, with big hands walk around public and do whatever she wants to do. Who cares? Yeah. I just, wh why are you so worked up about it? Let people live their lives. Uh, and maybe get one of your own. How about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You know, what struck me about that story was that they were mocking Admiral Levine, mm -hmm. who is, yeah, Admiral. Speaking uh, of defense. <laughs> imagine that, Admiral Levine, um, who is a remarkable woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, she is so incredible to have the role that she has and to put up with the stuff that she Ugliness. has to, exactly, the stuff that she has to put up with. Um, I honor her and all of those um who are in that role. Mm -hmm. um, incredible. We are excited to tell you about our next adventure with our Global Fellowship. In 2024, we'll be going to where the hills are alive as we explore Austria and Alpine Europe for Gay Oktoberfest. <clears throat> Space is extremely limited, so make sure to go to happeningout.travel slash sunshine to reserve your space now. Would you like to join the Queer God Squad on a special winter cruise in 2024? Well, now you can. You will visit Cozumel, Mexico, Grand Cayman, and Ocho Rios, and you can even add an open bar and Wi-Fi. Join us by going to happeningout.travel sunshine.